at least it's recording something. <laughs> it's not very clear. <laughs> you, you can see it. Yeah, I'm but see, I, I, I guess the, my, at least my voice and the main camera is there, so it's okay. Uh, so the, this chapter, suppose, uh, we, we are supposed to cover this. Uh, so basically how gene is expressed, what's the molecular biology of gene expression here? So, uh, everything starts with the DNA, and then we, from DNA we go to <laughs> try to understand. This is transcribed, transcribed. Yeah. But this somehow is from one language to another, we call it translation. Now, uh, and if we, if this one goes back to itself, that's uh, uh, replication. Yeah, replication. This is replication. And this part where I already covered the before me. So this is before middle turn, after middle turn is this. Now, uh, this is what, uh, well, maybe we, sh we should gradually develop for this time. In fact, uh, if we add all the detail to it, it's going to cover at least 25% of what you were learning in college, <laughs> at least for, uh, for biology major. Uh, so what I have here is the, some uh, slides from all the course supposed to go through the concept of genes. Uh, Actually, but I, I have some. I have a story about this. This slide. Uh, is this on the wall, or is this? It's just... on the common common side. Oh. Uh, yeah. So so usually uh, the class one say one gene. Uh, one phenotype, that's, uh, so if there is a gene mutated leads to a disease, that's called one gene, one uh, phenotype, that's how this is. That doesn't happen very often, but there are some very good examples, especially in humans, that's called phenoketone urea disease. This, this is a disease called PKU. Uh, I have a, the, the PKU is actually quite, uh, it's, is kind of a joke in Chinese students because PKU also stands for Peking University. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and that's turned out to be a well-known disease in textbook. <laughs> so, uh, that's how we remember many things. <laughs> a different perspective. So, but I also have a personal uh, experience. Well, not had a had some cross-time experience. So, one of my uh, my brother know a friend whose daughter is. Just, has some symptom of this, so they actually send all those uh, record and uh, 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 charts for me. I, I bring it to a, a PKU disease expert at uh, Seattle and ask him to go over all the record. So I actually uh, know many things I can. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of a symptom of this, and usually the kids who already have this genetic defect they will die before. Five or six something. Oh, 
it's, it's, a, it's a pretty, pretty serious thing. What are the, um, like, effects? <coughs> like, what's some of the symptoms? Yeah, symptoms. There's, there's a lot of symptoms. I, I don't remember. <laughs> but it's clear that the name tells you something. So, so basically, phenyl adenine is going to is not going to metabolize the uh, uh, factory. And that will accumulate some uh, phenyl ketone derivative in the urea. You can see that. And that looks like a possibility for many uh, developmental effect. And you really, and since those are essential amino acids, and we have to, without it, it's just a very bad to go around. But that's a, uh, but the point is actually that's a, uh, very rare, and in many, in many human diseases, that's actually not a one gene or phenotype. Uh, so, I guess the, the slide is supposed to uh, teach you something about the history, why we come up with the concept of a gene. Uh, this, this slide is talk, talking about uh, how we, how we uh, uh, use genes, uh, use different media, selection media to identify some genotype. Uh, this is different pathway. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how the final thing will look like. I guess some of the, at least in MCAT, sometimes you will see this kind of question. I say you have a, if, if you have multiple pathway, and we, we tell you a few mutants and then ask you which mutant this mutation affect along the pathway and ask you to reconstruct it. That's actually the standard genetic analysis. So that's basically how most of the biological pathways are identified in this. So this is uh, presumably we, we, we can find out some question along this line. So the basic idea is the if, it, if there is a pathway like this, if I block number one, that means I won't see number two product of number two and number three. Right? That's basically the idea. Right? So, so if I have an unknown mutation, how do I know this mutation affects n one? Where, where is that mutation work in this pathway? That must be the first one. Right? So, so it must be before two and three. If I have a mutation of in one, all I see is uh, precursor. I don't see uh, this is only sign. I don't remember this. <laughs> so basically, various kind of chemical. I don't. This is final product arginine. If I if I only have a mutation uh, number three here, that means I can see the previous product. But I what I cannot see is uh, arginine. That means this mutation occurs before arginine, right before arginine. See the point? If I if I if we have a, a three mutant. <coughs> Mutant, mutant the three, I do not see arginine, but I see uh, this one <coughs> and this one. That means that number three mutant is affecting arginine here. If I have the second mutant, will I see arginine? No. I will not. Right? Will I see this centrally? No. No, okay. Uh, we I see this one. Yes. Yeah. So that's a that's how we identify the second mutation. For the first mutation, I mean, all of this will be blocked. This this, and sometimes we have double mutation, but that's more uh, a little bit more complex. But, yeah. So <laughs> this is basically at the bottom how this going to look like on plate. Uh, imagine those are the uh, yeast mutant and those are the plates we use. Uh, I, I, this is the neurospore, it's just a different yeast. And we can just call, call all of them yeast. So, so this will be a media without arginine. And wild type will grow and all three mutants will not grow. And one, two, three. Uh, that must be the mutation of that brain. So this is the media plus uh, this product, byproduct. Oh, byproduct. The second uh, 
uh, a second step in this path. So once I uh, add this only sign into the media, that means I can uh, uh, rescue the function of this nutrient one. And this this enzyme one basically synthesize convert the precursor into this other sign. Since this one has already been added in, so this mutation will be rescued, will be the function of this will be restored. And the cell can live in the presence of this other sign. Making sense? Now for for this one, uh, this one I add citrulline. I basically adding this. Now this time number one and number two are all alive on plate. Uh, maybe I can flat this up and just write on the board. Maybe that's easy. Okay. So do that the cell alive on plate. Okay. If I see this, this is alive, this is alive, this is alive, this is that, this is that, so that, so that, that, so. So, these two are alive, and number three are dead, means the, 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 the mutation of number three cannot be rescued by adding these two compounds. So this, this function, this function cannot be rescued by these two compounds. And finally, if we add arginine, since this is the final product, and all these enzymes synthesize arginine, so all these mutants will be, become irrelevant for survival. Okay, so that's a wild type. Now, I basically say, well, you don't even have to synthesize arginine. I gave you all the arginine, so all those mutations become irrelevant. It's like, uh, there is one type of diabetes people cannot uh, synthesize uh, enough insulin, so we, we we can just give insulin to those people. And if they, if they can uh, take a little dose of insulin, even though they cannot synthesize it on their own, it's okay. It's basically the same same principle. We just add things back. If if if, uh, if something can is cannot be synthesized within ourselves, if we can take it, we can somehow uh, obtain it without uh, uh, doing it ourselves, and we are going to be still okay. So that's the same thing for the cell. Uh, okay, uh, let me jump in. Okay, this is central dogma, this is what I wrote. So basically, that's, that's the uh, concept we we supposed to master after this course, this course called molecular biology and genomics. Uh, not too much genomics, but mostly about molecular biology right now. So, okay. Uh, this is the, I guess they try to explain, uh, instead of, I'm going to ask you to try to, try to, if you take a piece of paper, draw this constant map. So, now, I'm going to ask you to try to explain on, on your own concept map. You have DNA replication, transcription, translation. What is the starting signal? What is the signal to start? Start. What is the start signal? What are the stop signals? Uh, translation, transcription, replication. MET is one of them. Methionine. Uh, where? Is the start signal for translation. Okay, very good. Uh, say it again. But in the methionine, MET. Uh, no? Unfortunately, not see the wrong answer. Oh man. Uh, it, it, it's close, but it's what actually methionine is actually not a signal. It's a product. Um, What's the signal for methionine? ATG, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so, so the, the starting to the, oops, uh, Good. So we, we, what else do we have? We, we actually, ATG is not enough. There's other things we need to put in here. Uh, what's the starting here? Let's first start, uh, oh, maybe I start, I should use green. Uh, green light start, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me, let, me, let me use green for this. So you're asking what starts transcription in DNA and what That's starts right. translation in RNA? Yeah. I what's here? Or error. Oh, yeah. Uh is it not a I, I will say this one start with the letter P. P something. Polymerate. Polymerase. Where should polymerase go? In replication. Uh, well, polymerase. There are many things called polymerase. Oh. Uh, yes, you need polymerase here. That's right. Is that not the P word though? It, it's not the P word I'm asking for. I'm asking a P word for starting signal. Maybe I should put this also a, a green. Start signal. Green light. What are the green light? Stop signal is a red. Okay. Yeah. Stop signal is red. What are the stop signs? Is it a, a protein? Uh, which part? For the P, <laughs> for transcription, is there's a protein or are like polypeptides start the signal? Uh, RNA polymerase is involved, but it, RNA polymerase is, is the enzyme, it's not the signal. I said protein. No. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. It, this is an open book. It, I'm, I'm not asking just to <laughs> guess it. Well, because this is... Go. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, this is why I said that, because when you see uh, in in this, in the, what is that, the animal cell? In prokaryotes, yeah. Transcription, DNA is and transcribed into an RNA called cytoplasmid. Uh, it says translation, I just see, oh, never mind, just kidding. Is that not a protein where, oh, never mind, just kidding. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I guess this diagram is really talking something at a very high level. So this this this, this slide is only talking about. So in the cell, you need transcription from chromosome DNA into the RNA, uh, and then the RNA has to be translated into protein. This is a very high level. It's basically this: DNA to RNA to protein. This is basically this. But I'm asking more. I'm asking you to find out what are the starting signal for transcription and translation and re replication. Uh, how about we separate you this group will work on which signal? Replication signal? Yes, sure. Okay, how, what's the replication signal to start? Um, you three work on transcription starting signal. You to work on translation mm -hmm. study signal. Okay. Uh, now we have a separation of the power. <laughs> so, uh, the, what's, what is the start signal? Yeah, you know, basically you're writing a law of life. <laughs> so, uh, Uh, I'm going to give you, so transcription start with something P, and translational signal in bacteria is start with something S. Uh, 
application is done with something old. Um, origin sites or um, what is it? The origin, the yeah, origin of the word? of replication, origin of replication. Okay. That's right, replication yeah. origin. <laughs> okay, we got one <laughs> replication origin. Uh, replication origin. Excellent. We have one done. <laughs> what's what's this one? Excellent. Okay. <laughs> promoter. But uh, what's the inside of the promoters? Inside of the promoter, what, what what are the things we need? This is actually different. Uh, it's similar. Bacteria and eukaryotes they have similar things, but it's called different name. What's the inside of this? For translation, what do we need? Oh, you, uh, you are talking about the uh, translations? Yeah, with, uh, with the, what, what sure the Spanish name or something? Uh, the name for the bacteria translation or something. Uh, I'm from the Eucaryotic promoter, power promoter. What? Uh, I 
defined by a transcription factor to be here for the mix. So the S very close. So the S of someone you know is that in uh, bacteria or this is for bacteria. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You can only phone you the uh, 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 yeah. But what does the S bind to? It's good. So, so we need a, a 30s ribosome and a 50s ribosome for for the translation. But that, but that's actually is already into something called uh, what we show players. Yeah, so maybe I should also use a different color. Player, I use the blue. Blue for player. So we need the 30S ribosome subunit, 30S subunit and the 50S subunit. That's called the bacteria. What's the key word over transcription? Something box. box. It's a PRI. PRI, yeah. Pripinol box. What is that? Yeah. Can you Google by? What is Pripinol <laughs> <laughs> What exactly is a promo is a promoter? Is it a protein or it, like what? Ha! Huh, what is a promoter? It's, a, it's where. Um, it's just the site where it starts. Yeah. yeah. I think what the polymerase is like the place where the RNA Now the sigma factor line. Sigma factor. Well, sigma factor then bring the polymerase to the. So the, the sigma factor look, looks at the. Right. This 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 is bound by sigma factor. This is so in transcription is sigma factors. But since those are the signal transcription, the signal has to be on EMA. Right? We cannot have a signal in cell itself. Right? So <laughs> so the promoter is from DNA. Okay. And those signals should be on RNA, right? You, if you translate the signal, it's on RNA. So well, this should be AUD. But our DNA is ATT. So I, I guess kind of like AUD maybe is called. Okay, so I'm but confused. Uh, Why was I saying methionine? What is methionine? Methionine is a chuck product. It's a, a pro oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's not a signal, it's a product. Okay. Yeah. So that's already the protein, right? So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so in, in here, you have cut box. And TF2D actually comes to the whole process. And then we have transcription factor. I, I guess you can just generally say transcription factor. And of course, we have an RNA. Well, I guess I should put the blue since the transcription factors. And RNA flavors. And for re replication, we have DNA flavors. And what else do we have? What other things do we for have? For replicate, uh, helicase, <laughs> top 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 arrays, top of mem. What's that? The thing that relieves the stress from the unwinding. Uh, top of top of Say it. <laughs> Actually, I'm also confused. <laughs> That's like no, it, it should be gyrus, right? Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is really funny. Uh, what is top five summaries? It relieves it relieves the the stress from the coiling. Yeah. Okay, I guess it is top five. Thank you. But what does helicus do? It, it unwinds. So both of them need. Uh, I guess both of them will be here. Okay, good. Thank you. 
How do you pronounce it? Topo isomerase. Topo isomerase. Alicase. Alicase will be the flower. Split uh -huh. the. Oh, I see. So split them at top of RMSD to uh, release the tension. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So. Okay. And that to my single strand binding proteins. Uh, I think someone said, who said ligase or something? Yeah, you also need uh, primer, primers. That's that's for the RNA primers. Uh, Ogasaki primers. fragment. Are we just naming stuff? No, Ogasaki fragment. That's the lagging strand. You have leading strand or lagging strand. <laughs> leading and lagging strand. So the the leading strand synthesize uh, oh. because it continues. The lagging strand has to sync that because it's, it's, go, it's backwards, so they have to do yeah. it, yeah. But no matter if leading and lagging, it's always synthesized from 5 prong and 3 prong. Mm -hmm. We should have learned this before we took our midterm. Yeah, yeah except this should be already covered in one Oh, well, yeah, but. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so um, did we ever say what the starting thing? <laughs> yeah, how about we all try to find out what's the bacteria signal for translation on MRA? You didn't explain to us how come therapy and therapy as a part of players and players. But what's therapy as a part Yes, what is therapy as and 50 as in translation? Um, it's a ribosomal subunit. In the first frame. So it's a subunit of a ribosome that makes the protein. Right. Very good. Yeah. 30S subunit and 50S subunit. But you said something about players. I don't know if I'm Oh, I, I basically tried to use a general one. Um, I, think I mean, we are, we are separating starting signal, stop signal, what's the rest of I'm going to call them. I, 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 I mean, you can call it something else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. It's. I mean. I mean, I have stop signal, stop signal. Then what other things should I call it? So, yeah. <laughs> so the TATA box and the EVO box are the main promoters for transcription. For eukaryotic system. Right. Is for that? for bacteria. Uh, this will be a criminal box minus 35 box. Oh, and for the is the TATA box? The TATA box. Yeah. Why it's called TATA box? Because the because when, when you write down the sequence, you write down say C T A T A T. When you write all, all those things down, you realize right, this thing is is part of a is a critical part of promoter, and then when you draw this, that's a box. So it's it's, it's just the name just inherent from this practice. So so if you write a sequence on paper, you draw, try to highlight this, you become a box. So it's just quite type of box. So In bacteria, we have a sigma factor to bind the uh, promoter signal. In eukaryotic system, we have a transcription factor about the uh, promoter signal. Uh, maybe I should put a sigma factor here. Let's so, uh, make it more clear. OK, now. Does that have to do with um, section responsive language? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, that, uh, no, that's, that's more like a very specific topic. So, okay, what is the signal in bacteria of mRNA for translation to start? This is something really shines. This will give you a clue. What did you say? This is something really shines. 
It start and it starts with the S. Yeah. Oh. That it really shines. Uh -huh, yes. Oh yes, yeah, that's right. Like, wow, I just, I just saw. It. I'm like, that's okay. Is it really nice? We have a winner. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not shining that much. That's funny. How could we have that shine? That shines and it popped up. <laughs> okay, good. That's the way we have a yeah. So what is okay? So what does that have to do with RNA translation? Yes, what, what, what does it have to do with this? Shine, cell, carno. Okay, good. It helps recruit the ribosome to the mRNA to initiate protein, protein synthesis. That's right. <laughs> so how does it do it? By aligning it with the start codon. Aligning some sequence with the start codon. Align what sequence? AGG, AGG. This is Wikipedia. Uh, okay. what? This is what I'm just reading with Wikipedia. Oh, that's for example E. coli. Oh, Shanda Gano, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But how, how does it align? What? But align what with the? Exactly, a Wikipedia does have a group there, except that part is wrong. <laughs> it's it's not wrong. Yeah. It's not. It's not entirely clear. Yeah. So it's generally located around eight bases from the start codon AEG. No, by align what oh, wow. to the shine diagonal sequence can you start the translation? Oh, wow. Yes, but what? What in the small Something inside a small subunit is doing a job. Uh, that is called. Uh, Are you giving the slide? Sorry, no. Wait, which slide? No. From. What do you mean? You want to find your plan? My plan is a magic plan. Oh, yeah. You want to find your plan? No, no, not 120. Oh, 120. Oh, 120. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. So 120, they give you a slide yeah. on it. Okay. Oh, y'all talked about that at 120? I'm the transfer. Okay. Oh, I see. We took 120 elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. 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 Welcome to Slowmo. <laughs> so what's the answer? Uh, of what or of what it um it combines to or what uh, it aligns? Uh, let me see. I could have an animation. Let me play that animation. Let's see whether you 
your 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 sharp eye can tell from this animation what what things are about the uh, translation translation and This is the bacteria. This is a bacteria. Initiation of translation start with uh, 30 uh, subunit of ribosome and two protein called initiation factor one and three. Uh, and there should be an AP, AUG uh, start to down on mRNA. Okay. <coughs> It basically should complement to shine diagonal side. Uh, by, by, so that's a six. Oh, I already told you that. Sorry. <laughs> 16S RNA in a 30S uh, ribosomal unit if by, by uh, pairing with the shine diagonal sequence and it then bring the AT, uh, starting signal AVG to the translation or initiation side. That's how the so 16S RNA aligns with the shine Dalgarno site to start. That's the right. <laughs> That's what okay. I was asking for. <laughs> yeah. So it's a 16S RNA inside of 30S subunit. Base pair, uh, base pair with shine diagonal sequences. And then bring the... This on the middle? Uh, no. It's, uh, I'm just... Uh, I guess I will... Now this is not a, a video of this animation, so I didn't put this in my material. Oh, this is your right. right. Oh, <laughs> you have access to this. this is uh, I I I can't put this on the screencast. I put on it, but this is not a single file. I just put it on the Google. You can see it. So so it's it's multiple files. This is basically the same thing. So you have a you have a a chain of amino acid chain going to a sample. Okay. And how do we assemble the, the blueprint? That blueprint is in mRNA. We basically look at mRNA and decide what component add to that chain of amino acid. And we, so the first one is almost always AUG. So we put them assigned there. We nail basically nail them assigned there. And then 
this one, the next one is GAU. Okay. What amino acid do we need for GAU? Guanine. Look, try to find out based on the genetic table what amino acid do we need for GAU. ASP. Uh, I'm on. What is, is it ASP? Is it GAU? ASP, aspartic acid. Okay, very good. GAU. So next one will be ASP. Okay, let's see whether the animation is doing it right or next. So now this called elongation. It's not initiation. So it is ASP. <laughs> so okay. So aspartic acid. Now look at this. This is called GAU. Uh, AUG. So this is the this this what is this codon? This is called codon AUG. What is this codon? Is that UAC or C A U? The anti codon? Yeah. This is the anti -codon. this should be UAC. But it actually reads from the other end, CAU, because uh, this is 5 prime N, this is 3 prime N, this should be 5 prime, this should be 3 prime. Okay. All, every, every base pair is, is anti parallel. Mm -hmm. so, so the anti codon should be CAU, actually. So this, so basically the A side, my, the way I remember A is accept, P is peptide uh, bond formation, and E release or empty. Right? That's how I remember this. So, yeah. so now we, so we have, we, we put first in assigning, second in aspartic, now we just have to connect the two. That's called peptide, peptide bond formation. Uh, yeah, peptide bond formation. And then move, you just move along the re, re, release the entity of DTP, move along, and just move along the assembly line to the next one. So the next one is ATG. Okay. Now uh, let's look for what ADG stands for. Everyone except the the person who just answered. Isn't it AIG? Okay. Let's see whether the animation is doing the right or Okay, good. ARG. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So we need release another a, 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 a energy from GTP and put R in there and release energy, move down the next one. And we just do this again and again until we reach. What is this signal? UAG. Stop color. Yeah, that's a stop color. So there should be three stop codons, UAG, UAA, UGA. UGA you should remember because that's a university nearby. So, <laughs> so, Translation termination, we have a stop codon. So this one, basically the stop signal. What's the stop signal for translation? We have a stop codon. And in this part, we should also add the 16 sRNA. And this is what, what binds the shunt again on sequences. And the stop codon, we have the for the stop codon, we have stop codon. And uh, what are the three stop codon again? UAG, UAG, UAA, UGA. Say it again. UGA. UGA. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay.
Okay, so um, what are the main side uh, what are the main side for translation? The three side, what's the name of the three side for translation? The right is it not the ribosome subunit? No, what are the three side for the uh -huh. That's right. EPA. So you have the. Uh, uh, I, I don't have. We need to reorganize. We need to rejoin this up. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the E side, P side, A side. Right. So the A side amino acid amine, and P side is peptide bond add to it, and E side is where it goes off. And it's called the three. The three Side. Yeah, A side, A side, E side. That's the translation. TRA. TRA have the anti codon on it. So on the anti codon, this, this will be. Is this okay? So you. Is this the right base pair? Do you, is this the right base pair? Can we do a base pair like this? No. No? Why don't you find out? Can we have a GU base pair? G's all what does Google say? Does Google say no? I, okay. Base pairs, as in the nucleotides, as as in like ATC or ATCG, like the. Because uh, this. No, not this is not genetic. I'm, I'm basically saying, is GU pair normal or normal or not? Can can we? Is this a functional base pair? GU base pair. I thought AU is a functional base pair. That's right. The AU is a normal, but how about GU? Is that very really, very really important? No. Oh, yes. It looks like it is. It looks like it is. That's right. What you like? It is. What do you say? Yeah. So yeah, wobble. What does that mean? Let's see. It's, a, it's, <laughs> it's unstable. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, why do we have to? I, I'm saying this is very important. Without it, we won't, we won't be alive. In fact. Why is that important? Yeah, why do we have an unstable wobble? <laughs> yeah, why do we need this? So, so basically, I'm saying uh, among all these. We, we also need a tRNA anticoda and we need we also need something called wobble If I have an anti down with the position of G, it can base pair with both C and U. So does it like decrease um, like mutations or something? Uh, you or are you are arguing on the right direction, except it's not. It's we are not talking about mutation. It, the, it the, the key is we 
how many genetic codons do we have? Uh, what? Three, right? Three, each position will have four choice, so four to the third power is 64. How many amino acids we have? 20. 20. So on average, is three codons per amino acid. Some have four, some have two, some have six. It's actually quite a difference. That means if we want to add one amino acid, often we have multiple choices. But it's not a good idea for the cell to have separate tRNA for every codon. That would be more convenient for the cell to have a... It, it, it basically, if, if you look at some of the... Uh, every, if every key, the, the, for example, the, I have a general key, I can open many, many doors. Okay. That means there's some wobble position here, it kind of work for many positions. It's basically the same thing. It means this, this key I have, uh, this is like a business. I have a general key, can open many doors. It, that means there are, there are some uh, 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 tools, some not other work. Matter. I mean, this this must have the, the general purpose thing to open many more. The same thing for TRNA. It has so many codons, but oh, let's say that uh, let's pick an example. Which which one do you think has the most codon in the codon table? Which amino acid has the most codon? My my uh, that's off off kind of some will have oh, six. The G O Y. Yeah, but it's actually very common to have four. When they have four, usually which position it changes? It's the last one, right? Mm -hmm. So if the last one, have, we have a nucleotide can basically with all four, and we only need just one anticoda. One TRNA just work for all four coda. So to you, you have the advantage to have a level of position that my all four. Yeah, yeah. It basically, uh, it's more general purpose. It's more general purpose key. It fits all four positions. Right. Normally, if it's if it's only say for GC, it doesn't allow for gene pair. I think it's every you need to have a lot of protein in for cell to work with this. It's advantage about cell to have a one key for many things that all work. Right. It's basically efficient. The wobble position is true for bacteria and the eukaryotic system. All right, elongation. Now let's look for uh, stop signal again. So for the uh, termination of translation, we have a stop coda. Termination of transcription the bacteria, what signal do we have? How do we terminate the translation uh, in bacteria? Does it not just use a stop code? Uh, well, the stop code is for translation. Right. I'm asking what's the stop stop signal for a transcription? Um, Again, let's use bacteria as an
Is it hair pit? Oh, I'm just kidding. It's hair pit, yeah, literally it is a hair pit. Sigma, this is back to the sigma factor by to the promoter region. The promoter region should have the original box and the minus 35 box. And then there's a transcription starting side. So sigma factor bind to the two box and then put it on and then the trans once the transcription started the sigma the initiation will be filled out and then the elongation will start. And now the sigma factor will be filled away at the elongation part. Now there will be something called a termination sequence of signal. Uh, those those sequence uh, is inverted repeat. What does invert invert repeat does is like this. So another transcription going through these sequences and the inverted repeat will just form a <laughs> they, they will form a highly from on itself. And that's a signal to terminate the transcription effectively. Okay, so we have the and that's uh, So the stop signal here, that will be the termination sequence. How does the replication stop? How does it start? Well, you start from replication right. origin. How, how does it stop?
well, if you, the basic thing, you have multiple replication origin. It goes to, if it goes around, you're going to meet somewhere. You need to stop somewhere. Uh, I guess you can call that a stopping mechanism, but. So, but I, you would say that it kind of is that on its own. Yeah, if it's run off the end, I'll just net finish. But, uh, so, right. It, I guess, I mean, if people do a lot of sequencing, maybe they come up. Let's say this is being a strand. Right. I have a replication goes here. I have another replication goes here. They are going to be somewhere. Once they meet, they have to stop. And do they always meet at one position? I really don't think so. So <laughs> they just have to stop, stop with the issue. And the pattern itself does is extremely accurate. Once they meet, they are not going to overrun each other. Otherwise, our team won't even be stable. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, uh, but in, in a way, I don't see a lot of publication. Maybe I'm not tracking this, but maybe there are people studying this in great detail. They also have some more. I'm, I'm not aware of, uh, I didn't follow the most recent research on this. Maybe there are some recent numbers I'm not aware of. <laughs> so, yeah. But in, in our system, because the end, we are linear system, the end is kilogram. It's going to fall off. <laughs> so in fact, the end, if you think about it, it's not completely replicated. How do you, how do you replicate the end? DN replication. Uh, DN replication. How do we deal with the ends? Right, so, so but remember the DNA is 5 prime, 3 prime. 5 prime, 3 prime, right? That's DNA. So if I want to replicate DNA, I can replicate on this one and this side from uh, 5 prime, 3 prime. That's this, no problem, I can replicate this end. And remember, the other end is the lagging strand, right? So for this one, I have to do this 5 prime, 3, uh, oops. Uh, 5.3 prime, 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 5.3 
figure out a, a, a trick to solve that empty space problem. Yeah. Deloveris actually had a way to do this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's actually, this, this Tilabri thing actually got Nobel Prize. It's uh, Elizabeth Blackwell, a uh, uh, women's East biologist at the UCSF. So it actually got Nobel Prize in 2009, the year I started as well. So I remember this. Because the, that's the year when I was teaching this. And then they, got, uh, they announced the Nobel Prize. So. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very special enzyme. Yeah. Is it a protein? No. It's a ribonucleic. It's a, it, it, well, it's, it's, a, a, it's a ribonuclear. Yeah, a ri ribonuclear protein. Yeah. And the trick yeah. is really because it's a ri ribonuclear protein. Student version, you can you can play the animation. Oh, I don't know. I Google this. Can can you play? <laughs> does, does, does it play? I'm playing it now. Okay. You know, let me let me let me see. McGill, Kilomers. Let me see what I can play. Google telomerase. That's literally what I put in Google. Telomerase okay. function. See how Pilaris can can uh, synthesize this uh, uh, overhead. Five prime. So so the trick is uh, at the three prime end. So the DNA always had to synthesize from five prime end or three prime end. Now we have this empty space. If if we are to synthesize here, we have to start have the primer here, right? Mm -hmm. In order to synthesize it. Basically, that's the problem we need to solve. See the problem? Mm -hmm. So, so this this is the empty end we need to fill. So, if we want to fill this end, we need something here, and then it goes that way. Here's the trick. Here it comes. 
the, the RNA in, in this telomerase is basically work as a binder. Uh, it's going to extend it. Yeah, it's basically working like, because they are all repeat, it doesn't matter. They, it, it basically working as a stand. It's just adding on it. It's actually, uh, yeah, it basically really come from nowhere. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's not the way. It, 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 what we try to build is extended the template and then you still need a fiber to do it. So, but why it can do this? Because all of them are just simple block of repeat. So, so you know what it needs. So, so that RNA template basically is complementary to the telomere repeat on the DNA. That's basically it. Is that the end of it? Yeah, that's the end. It's a useful animation. Uh, maybe I should put it on the. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'm really not following the lecture slides. <laughs> <laughs> but those are those are the important concepts. Yeah. Basically, <coughs> let me see. Let me uh, systematically look at the slides. See, uh, see, we 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 cover the A side, P side, E side. Uh, <coughs> Stop cooldown. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, this is just the diagram to explain the A side, B side, P side. A side, P side, E side. Uh, this is good that I'm overviewing the slide. There's something really missing, really different between eukaryotic and uh, uh, bacteria during the transcription step. What, what's, what's, here's the major difference. Yeah. So we are missing here. So one of the major difference between bacteria and eukaryotic is this. The direction of transcription? Uh, no, what are those things? What are those things? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I misread this slide. Uh, I saw this in the intron Excel plan, but this is not. Oh, this is still explain from So that's uh, two slides down. That, that's two slides down. You cross, you cross. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, yeah. I, I I missed the. I forgot to put that one. Uh, it's good. I uh, over the side. So. Uh, we need to add the intron exon difference somewhere. Uh, not, where should I put? <laughs> Gee, this is really become very complicated. <laughs> thing. So, so in eukaryotic system, there are intron and exon differences. I guess we should put it uh, somewhere. Yeah. Let me use a different color. Intron and exon in eukaryotic system, as we have it, intron and exon, uh, and that doesn't usually doesn't exist in bacteria. And in older textbook, they will sometimes they will say intron and exon is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic system. That actually the wrong statement because intron and exon are very common in archaea. 
I'm sort of in the current textbook, most the correct way is actually to say back tier, not pro card. So, but I still see this a lot. Uh, some of the textbooks, all even on Wikipedia, you will see a lot say pro card if they don't have in contact, maximum, but that actually is a wrong statement. So, so I'm confused. You're saying only bacteria has. What does bacteria have? Bacteria usually do not have intron. Oh, they don't have yeah. intron. But uh, those archaea and eukarya have intron. Okay. And yeah. and for the mRNA structure, it's also quite different in eukaryotic system. We have the five prime. That's the post-transcription processing part. This is because in bacteria, there's no nuclear. Right? In bacteria, you can transcribe, transcribe it, and then the protein RNA can just bind to the transcript and start making protein. But in the eukaryotic system, the transcri transcription occur in the nuclear, and the RNA has to transport it outside to the cytosol, and then the ribosome bound to the mature mRNA in the cytosol, and then start the translation in the eukaryotic system. Uh, Yeah, can you? I guess I shouldn't erase it. We, uh, we somehow should uh, work, keep working on this. Make it a master map. So that way, if you if you have this map at end of class, you look at it. Not going to. <laughs> I I I won't exaggerate. I would say 25 percent of M cat will be that on that map at least. <laughs> so. So once we have the intra-exon uh, intra in eukaryotic exon, you also need a splicer, splicer song to do this. And you also need a transportation system. Uh, so that's, this is not very clear. Uh, but that's actually just a slide try to illustrate how the intra and splice are. Uh, this part are on the so this slide is on the common, common uh, side. So usually at the five prime end there is a cap, at the three prime end there is a poly A tail for the eukaryotic advantage. Uh, cap structure, poly A tail. Genetic code we have a yeah we have done this. Uh, so uh, both bacteria and eukaryo need a ribosomal binding site being uh, static codon AUD, uh, block codon UAA, UAD, UTA. I guess this will be a fair question in exam. Right? If we give you the MRI sequences, we tell you where the a AUD is, you should be able to write down the next few of it. So if this would be a, a, a passing exam, I give you the MRI sequence, and the uh, AUG is there, and then we ask you what's the, give you a few amino acid sequ peptide sequence at the bottom, you should be able to pick the right one. So, so we have to do the amino acid level along with codon? Yeah, the codon usually will be provided to you. So. But we have to memorize. No, you have to find out. So just look at the chart? Right, right, yeah. Oh. So, but what, I mean, if you put additional one, you will need a friendship. Uh, in some of your exam uh, question files, I, I look at some of, some of you submitted a working file. I look at the working file, you, you, I see a lot of you uh, do a translation with a lot of stop codon in the middle. That means it's not. You, you didn't pick the open radio frame to do the translation. Okay, so once, once it's not done properly, the frame will be shifted. That means the open reading frame should be used. Uh, PRNA, transcription translation. And 
I keep down. Um, it's actually, I, I guess it's not easy to, to see how the practical down reads on the 3D structure. But uh, on the 5 prime end structure, it should be on the, uh, the uh, secondary structure, it's not clear. So here is 5 prime end. This is uh, the secondary structure on Xiaomi. What is the antidote on this one? CCG. Yeah. Okay. Is it not CCG? Uh, what is the which amino acid will this one carry? Oh, sorry. Yeah. CGG. Which, which codon will this one, this Tiamat recognize? Argo, Ar, Ar, Ar. No, which codon? Write down the codon. What's the codon this one will uh, recognize? CTG? Yeah. What is, what, yeah, which codon? From that codon, you can tell what? Yeah. From that. I'm reading the anti-codon. I should read the, the, the codon for amino acid. I'm reading it wrong. Okay. Uh, you see, I, 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 was, I even stumbled. <laughs> I'm looking at anti-codon, trying to look for the amino acid. I should look uh, at anti-codon. 
the antifilter I should look for the actual set coda in sense and then look at the genetic coda table. <laughs> so, uh, I guess sometimes, uh, I guess you need to really have a clear head which way you want to look at. <laughs> so, okay, so GAA, uh, let's, let's look at the GAA. Uh, GAA should be glutamate. Uh, glu uh, glutamate. GLE, glutamic acid. And the anti should be GAA, UUC. So, so if in a in an exam, if if you see this UUC, that it should pair with GAA, and then that the codon goes back to glutamine and GLU. Are you reading it UUC because it's five prime and three prime? Because I would read it CUU. Uh, because. GAA is 5 prime to 3 prime. So, so when it's base pair, it must go from 5 prime to 3 prime okay. this direction. Okay. It's the UUC of the temperature. Okay. Uh, in fact, I saw the, uh, the previous animation we have to do now.
It's okay. Please. We did. We participated. We were attentive. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let me open the the exam. Let me take you a couple of times now. If you like. And if you've already done, then we can. Uh, if you already done it, uh, uh, I guess you can. <laughs> but are, are you happy with the grade you, you get? You can get 18 points back, though. So you can. Yeah, total, total. No, I mean, no. Uh, let me, let me okay. open it and if you, you can still, you can still try to get the, the total of 18 points. Uh, no, keep so. I have an all the percentage or submitting the numbers to the number? Uh, to the percentage. <laughs> probably, well, to the, probably to the, but eventually we are going to make sure the mean is around B or B minus. In AD something, right? So it's uh, it's based on percentage. Are you going to curve us? No. Uh, what was the highest? Like how many? Like on the first one out of the thirty-five points, like how many? Who got the highest? Not who, but like how many points? Who the the highest. Uh, in like our class. Five, yeah. In our class. Uh, 35 question, the uh, highest number is 21. 21. Hey, I got 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, curve in that. So, that would be like a 97. <laughs> no, the, the, the section, the, the clock, the, the bio 25 policy is curving the entire four sections. That's really not fair. Curve in all four sections. I mean, like, based on all four sections, the result, yeah. that's all really not sections. there. Uh, it's not the so what was the highest out of the four se sections? Uh, Somewhere about 89 points. 89 percent. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That's really I'm not fair. Yeah. At all. Yeah. But, uh, that's fun. Uh, uh, as I say, the... Uh, I can give you a bonus point if you would want to work on extra things. So even though the home exam is here, but we can't, I can give you a bonus point. So we can get all 18 points back even if we try. What? Right. Yeah. So we can get all 18 points back That's right. So I so first day before class, uh, the first day before class, you can repeat re this again to get the uh, eight point back. I literally broke down all my answers and was like, I know I got this right. Check it out. I know I got that right. Check it out. Yeah. So I just I'm we open it and you can do it until Thursday. Do a lot of people make A's in your class, Dr. Shin? Cause I, do a lot of people make A's in your class? Like, what's your... Uh, I'm open to 100% A if you earn it. Earn it as in like trying really hard? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Right. So, I, I mean, it's always if many people try very hard. 160 attempt just want to retake this. So, I mean, if you try the, I, I mean, if you if you get all this, I mean, I'm just looking at it. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, will we be doing more like another um, lab, kind of like we did the first half? Uh, or is that over? No, the lab part is it's hard to retake. Uh, no, um, and the question in, in. But what we can do is I give you a uh, similar as an extra assignment. That will be put as an additional assignment. Oh, okay. Yeah, in addition to other assignments. Yeah. Well, so this is just my preview. Uh, yeah. So make sure all the some of the figure is not really. Oh, I can keep all the examples. Actually, can look at the. Okay. So, okay, so 89. You have to get how many so, right? A lot. 
If you already do the uh, open book, uh, closed book read, maybe you cannot create a work on your open book. The open book is uh, still there. Uh, oh, let me I'll turn. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me uh, turn on the open book. Uh, 
So I mean, I, that's going to get an extra assignment. Now, so we do that one. But I, I look at some of your submitted uh, procedures. And some, of, some of you are apparently not even using operating Wait, so you said you're reopening the, the APE part? Uh, I'll just, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll just, uh, uh, yeah, reopen the, just create a new Type it out or like uh, uh, screenshots. Screenshot. Okay, everyone write a uh, map on this on your own, sign your name and submit it uh, to, to the front.
Can I turn the light on, please? What? Oh, oh, yeah.
Ich bin Dank für eure Arbeit. After you submitted a read page, I was already part of it. But since the, the exam only comes 50%, so uh, the project report and other uh, assignment homework will come another 50%. Uh, not so, technically, uh, yeah, not exam that is higher.
Suppose they will do uh, this transformation and the selection. So it should be uh, it should be a protocol on model. But it should also uh, based on the genotype of the three strands we have. Right? You, you should be able to, uh, to tell what media we should use for the selection. Okay, but nevertheless, if you find a mistake in online or let me know. We need to work on that. I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I put it on probably very late at night. <laughs> I just put it on it. So. Just, uh, I haven't, we haven't discussed what's the error correction mechanism in all this. Uh, I guess we can, we can do it on another day, but that's something.
Oh, you want to you, you. you want to see you or you want to see uh, Wait, tell me. Just, uh, tell I mean, me set up a, uh, But the question you have to do is do some not here in the counter. Let's just, yeah. Let's just put it up here. Uh, I, I need to keep a, keep a copy and give it back with this. So you're taking it? Yeah, 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 not really right. But if I open it online, that means people are not here, they can't share something. Then what's the point? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to take it back to the other one. Okay. 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 Like, I understand that I'm going on the concept that it's just like going on. He said he forgot the error code. Well, yeah, that. Yeah. We didn't discuss the error code. So, two more is happening with transcription or DNA replication? Depending on what framework you're talking about. Oh, hold on. You put a telomerase in transcription? Is no, it, that's wrong. Is it a DNA replication? Yeah. Telomerase in DNA replication. Okay. Okay. Tell me here is really new replication here. Sorry, That's it's not transcription here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess why I put it here is really because with the screen there, there's no space, but that doesn't mean this belongs to transcription. <laughs> sorry about this. Yeah. I, I, I guess that's the. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I should actually put 
I will try to put the average at least on the D5 in this sector, but... Yeah. And then the transcription stops with just the termination of the segment. Or is it the replication for it? Is this replication? No. So, how does transcription stop? The hair Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terminate, uh, terminator sequence. Sometimes it's called low dependent uh, transcription. Yeah, it's the uh, class is actually a little bit. Oh, I get the recording okay. still done. Now I'm going to see. Oh, it's still, it's still recording.